Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So my name is Anshul Prashar and I am going to be a veterinary doctor soon in 2-3 months. So this video is under educational series. Uh, in this video, I'll tell you like what are the scopes of veterinary sciences, what is veterinary sciences and most important what salary, what sort of job you do in this field. So if you want to have a detailed knowledge about it, so watch the video up to the last and thank you. So what is veterinary sciences? Veterinary sciences is the science which deals with the animal production and care of animal. So it is B, V, S, E and A, H which means Bachelor of Veterinary Sciences and Animal Husbandry. It is a five-year professional course and uh, in this VVSC, VVSC is veterinary science which, which basically means treatment, prevention, hospital related work and AH, animal husbandry is related to your production, management, rearing of animals, making layout for farms, all these comes under a single course that is veterinary, VVSC and AH. So all these are uh, headed by or carried out by the veterinarian. If you got a degree of BBS and AH, you can be posted in any of the field. So this is, was a short description about what is uh, veterinary sciences and what is what veterinary doctor actually studies. So, uh, so next is scope of veterinary sciences. So there are lots of scope of veterinary sciences um, first of all is your hospital you can work in a hospital as a veterinary doctor in government services as well as private clinic you can own your private clinic a pet hospital you can work as a clinician the first and foremost then second option is your dairy industry dairy industry means uh, you have to make a plan for the feeding practices of a dairy, how their vaccination will be done, how they treated, how their regular checkup will be done. So you can work in a dairy farm as a manager, as a consultant, a dairy manager. And next is uh, you can work in a poultry farm as a manager. Same, you can make layout for chicks, brooder chicks layer checks, their feed, you have to just formulate the formulas, ration, uh, layout for the, and you can work in a poultry farm. Next is production. The production is a very huge term. In production, a lot of things come under. You can work in your piggeries, like production of pigs, production of poultry, ducks, rearing, anything which is uh, naturally produced for human consumption and things uh, like these pigs and all are used for many or I'm so sorry for the uh, display because I wanted to make it virtual but I don't have time I'm going through my internship so it's very difficult for me like making a video editing it and I'm so sorry you have to uh, I just try to convey it as much possible as I can through limited sources actually I'm out of station for this video so please uh, so next option is your army if you have any interest in army in any, serving the Indian army you can go as a veterinary officer in Indian army and that is called as RBC remount veterinary cop you go at a level of a a captain and it is a short service commission um, in which uh, you are appointed as a doctor uh, that serve and um, go for the treatment of your uh, horses mules uh, which are there in like army a treatment of dogs army dogs police dogs you can also go join ITBP BSF as a veterinary officer in your army next is you can go and work in a zoological park again it is a government services uh, you can uh, join the zoo as a zoo manager 
at the port post of a veterinary officer you have to manage the things about wild animals vaccination their uh, deworming and lot of the stuffs next is national parks you can go for the national services job as a veterinary officer in national park throughout the india and next is ngo non government organization you can work in ngo like uh, we have in himachal people farm in many other ngos which work with animals which work with stray animals they require veterinary doctor for their assistance so you get good pay as a veterinarian in the ngos next you can work as a inspection officer uh, which means like rabies is a zoonotic disease so in human it is equally important as is it in animals so you can uh, go as a inspector which like investigate the origin of the disease like more of a paperwork uh and then you can work into a, as a epidemiologist and we know like in last 2 years we have realized the importance of a epidemiologist epidemiologist means you can just if there is an outbreak mostly the outbreaks are related to zoonotic diseases like your corona virus was there lumpy was there in uh, is there in cows so you need a epidemiologist to track down the um history from where it came and how it is spreading that is what a epidemiologist do next you can work as a scientist as a research scientist and you can go for your uh, masters and phd and you can work as a scientist in many labs like uh, the sir rabies lab in kasoli and more other national level labs throughout the india viral labs any other labs so then you can go for another option that is uh, as a teacher if you like teaching if you want to if you are like, like you can impart knowledge and like you can be a teacher you can go for your um, professor courses like you can be teacher for pharmacist veterinary pharmacist in veterinary pharmacist college with they need a veterinary doctor as a teacher and also if you want to uh, Like educate the uh, veterinary student, you can go for assistant professors in universities in your Himachal or throughout India. And next is manufacturing. Manufacturing, it is a very like, money making and uh, very hard working area. So manufacturing means ki ah, uh, this is drug manufacturing. Like for animals, we use animals are treated with medicines. So we use medicines where they come from like there is a veterinarian who know the anatomy physiology and they require their consultation for formulation of drugs so you can join as a manager as a formulator in pharma companies drug companies it's a very good career option if you go for a private job and feed production we give dogs pedigree and many other concentrate feeds to your buffs your cows all these are formulated with the consultation of veterinarian so you can go and work in a company as a manager feed formulator and etc you can just give out plans and uh, layout layout for the uh, like building of farms like it is a very important if you मतलब नीव अच्छी हो तो यू गेट अ गुड प्रोडक्ट तो यू ऑल यू कैन जस्ट बी एज अ वेटनरी कंसल्टेंट लाइक हाउ टू बिल्ड अ फार्म हाउ मच स्पेस इज रिक्वायर्ड फॉर कीपिंग हंड्रेड काउज लाइक पोल्ट्री हाउ इन हाउ मच टाइम पोल्ट्री इज रेडी फॉर द मार्केट ऑल दीज यू कैन वर्क एज अ वेटनरी कंसल्टेंट एंड द अदर ऑप्शन इज योर रेस हॉर्स वेट इफ यू आर लाइक अ you have a good knowledge of your subject and you can just do well with it you can opt for the race horse vet it is a very money making field like where races are carried out of horses with horses they they required a vet for a clinical uh, like the management their everything they have regular checkups all these so you can work as a race horse vet and next is your entrepreneur that is like a 
entrepreneurship in any other field if you have a capability to make your business run then you can earn from like 40000 to lakhs it's all about you entrepreneurship you can start your own clinic you can just start your own drug company your uh, feed company and many other you can just start your own poultry farm you can be an entrepreneur and there's another option that is so uh, there is another option that is abroad in abroad you have lot of scopes especially in developed countries like in dubai you all know that they have a weird pet there so you can uh, there is a huge demand of veterinarian in dubai in your developed countries like canada australia anywhere there is a huge demand out of india because like there people are more into their companions like in dogs and cats and other pets so there is a huge demand for abroad you can so for practicing in abroad you can just uh you have to complete your bbsc and then you give exam of nevli that is a license sort of test like you get a license to work as a veterinary doctor in that country so after clearing the nevli you have to undergo the practical test that is about animal handling about your practical hand actually that you can give there after reaching abroad you can give that practical exam but before there before reaching there and practicing you have to undergo an exam that is nevle and um, if you want a uh, like detailed knowledge about going foreign through veterinary sciences as a veterinary doctor please comment down i'll make a video of it and the last option as a veterinary student that is same for all and equal for none that is upsc you can go for upsc upsc is like they take your graduation as a graduation and you can go for upsc if you want to serve the nation as a civil as a civil officer and all so for practicing in abroad you can just uh you have to complete your bbsc and then you give exam of nevli that is a license sort of test like you get a license to work as a veterinary doctor in that country so after clearing the nevli you have to undergo the practical test that is about animal handling about your practical hand actually that you can give there after reaching abroad you can give that practical exam but before there before reaching there and practicing you have to undergo an exam that is nevle and um, if you want a uh, like detailed knowledge about going foreign through veterinary sciences as a veterinary doctor please comment down i'll make a video of it and the last option as a veterinary student that is same for all and equal for none that is upsc you can go for upsc upsc is like they take your graduation as a graduation and you can go for upsc if you want to serve the nation as a civil as a civil officer and all next is salary of a veterinarian the salary of a veterinarian is like if you go for government services after completing your bbsc and ah so you go as a rank of a veterinary officer a class 1 gadgeted officer and your salary start from 45000 and it can goes up to 3 lakh and that is with experience and with time with your service it keep on incrementing like as in any other government services so you have to go uh, under a contract period of 2 years like it is 2 years right now you have to go under a period of a uh, contract and then you once you get a uh, permanent after 2 years you just get a uh, permanently commission and your salary keep on incrementing with time of experience and with your years okay so private job in any department 
it depends upon your hard work and basically it is usually from uh, 30000 to 1 lakh and if you go for entrepreneurship then it all depends on your caliber your location your capability and most importantly your luck if you are able to just make a good image of yourself as a good vet you can earn 4 to 5 lakhs per month in a clinic in a dairy industry if you have a company you can earn in as much number if you wanted so that's it 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 was all about salary i hope you liked the video and it helped you out if it was informative then please like comment down and if you haven't subscribed my channel then please subscribe my channel for veterinary related videos i'll keep up posting with